The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smash knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke? Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Bad idea. They were looking for something. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Zoltan? Get out!
Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. You've been in town a while. Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Emir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The big fours made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Sigi Ruven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Whore Son Junior. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now, you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. How about that? It's the flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? 
Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh... Oh, you've got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say we add some spice to the game? Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> I'm here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play! Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate, and sit still or you'll hurt yourself. But, but he won! So, now we'll play something else. You'll carry him! Now left! Fuck. Left! Don't know how I'll repay you. Natalis card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. <laughs> <laughs> 